Hey, Justin Dyson here, Dyson Apiaries. Uh, going to walk you through our pump setup here for feeding sugar syrup. Stick right with us. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be talking about our feeder setup here, our feeding setup here. Um, this is what I would consider a, a sideliner feeding setup. It's, it's not full out commercial, um, but it's definitely above the bucket brigade. Uh, we, we definitely got tired of the bucket brigade pretty quick when we started getting over, you know, once I passed about 50, 60 colonies, that was, I was done with the bucket brigade. So we've slowly been upgrading this rig here. Um, as you can see, I have it sitting on just a, a small little trailer here. Works great for us. That way I can hook and unhook it. Doesn't take up my truck bed and all that good stuff. Um, but you know, this is something that you could you could put in there anywhere you wanted and move it around. You know, it's just it's just strapped down. So so we start this off here with the with a 275 gallon tote. Um, you could use a barrel, whatever you wanted to do the pump out of. I like these totes because I can stick the forks in the tractor on them, move them around, uh, do what I need to do, stack them up. And they have a uh, have a valve on them and they have a two inch outlet, which is great. That feeds into the system really well. We use these gator lock fittings here to connect to it. And these just work really well because you can just quick connect. Um, it's, uh, it's quick and easy to disconnect, connect, and move hoses around if you need to, and you can buy caps for them. I'll show you one of these caps here. Yeah, so I can cap stuff off with them. I love those little fittings. They make them in metal and, and plastic both. So, um, anyway, that's, that, you can always just screw it in. But we're coming out, we're putting that gator lock fitting in. Then we're going into a two inch hard suction hose. This hose needs to be a hard suction hose. Um, because otherwise you could suck a, uh, soft, uh, a soft hose shut and, and deadhead your pump there. So the next, the next stage in, in this setup is our pump here. And of course the uh, electric pumps, 12 volt pumps, and uh, they, they're really nice and they're quiet and they make no noise, they're on demand, it's great, but for our budget, um, this is a better fit for us. So just, you could pick one of these pumps up right here for like 250 bucks, uh, at Harbor Freight or something, um, or uh, Northern Tool, whatever, you know, all these places have these little pumps. Go get you a Honda if you want it. This is just a you know, 250 buck pump, two inch semi trash pump two inch semi trash pump um, it runs really quiet and you barely have to crack idle with it I'll show you how loud it is right, right there's about all the idle I need to pump and when it gets a little bit colder I've idled it up just a little bit more but that, that right there's about it notice how quiet that is so by the time you're 40 feet away from that pump you just you barely even hear it um, now, as opposed to the electric on-demand pumps, you know, run off a pressure switch, they, uh, you, you don't want to leave it sitting there running for 30 minutes while you're looking through colonies. You kind of do all your feeding at once, and that's the way we do it. It seems to work well. Um, but we're coming out of that, so we got a two-inch inlet, two-inch outlet, and we're going ahead and making, us, making ourselves a little manifold here. And the reason I like to do that, so I've stubbed over here, and this is going to our feeding hose. Um, I'm three quarter here, but straight up I'm a two inch. And I, I have one of these gator lock fittings on here so I can keep this capped off normally. Um, but what I can do is if I need to pump from tote to tote or something, I can grab one of these um, soft, suck, uh, soft hoses here that roll up nice and tidy. I don't need hard suction here because I'm an outlet side. And I'm actually missing my, uh, my gator lock fitting there, but um, that'll be quick connected in and I can pump to another tote and this pump will move two to one syrup really quickly um, I can I can move that tote there in about five minutes so a full tote 275 gallons from tote to tote with that pump so it works really well but then so we got this capped off for our feeding operation and then we just come out with a regular you need to throw a valve in here so that you can cut this system off um, if you're pumping out here you may not want to be pumping over to here you may have this disconnected so stick your valve in there and adapt to a water hose fitting. Um, this is a cheap hose that came with 
this reel. I don't like this hose that'll eventually get replaced, but I just came over here to another cheap reel that you can pick up at the hardware store um, for under a hundred bucks. I mean, you can spend as much as you want to on a reel. That's completely up to you. Get you an electric one if you want. Um, but the gist of it is a reel. I originally started just rolling my hose up on the front of the tote on that rack, and that worked all right too. Um, but this is a lot, a lot quicker for me. Keeps the nose, uh, the hose, nice and neat. But when we get to the when we get to the hose over here, that's kind of important. You want to make sure that you get like a contractor grade um, hose, one that's got the rubber. It, it remains a little more flexible. It's more durable, dragging across the ground all the time. They don't kink as bad. And also, it needs to be three quarter in diameter um, instead of the five eighths hoses. This helps you move that really viscous uh, syrup through the system a lot easier. And then when we get down here, um, we just have a you know a hardware store, a hardware store gas gas nozzle. You know, um, this is pretty straightforward with the trigger, and that works really well for us. So we can just crack our lids, and there comes some. But uh, stick it down to the feeders, like if I'm using frame feeders, I can slide it right in there and it keeps it from splashing out because I can get it down to the bottom of the feeder, it works really well. Um, this system, this system will pump one to one, fantastic through here, two to one, dang good. Um, two to one, the sucrose will pump through here just fine. It takes a little bit longer, of course, than one to one, but it, I mean, I can fill up a, in one to one, I can fill up a feeder in, in, a, in, a, in a few seconds, and uh, two to one may take 30, 30 seconds to fill up. It's, it's still not bad. it up just a little more for two to one and we get into the high fructose corn syrup like um, the HF55 you can't pump HF55 through this water hose at full strength um, it'll just stop to a trickle and it's just ridiculous so if you get into that stuff you need to water it down a little bit or come up with a different method but this method works really good for us um, because typically when I'm feeding this water down just a tick at least I, I, I don't feed a lot of straight two to one or, or high fructose 55 I'm usually feeding with just a little bit of water in too. Um, but anyway, that's our setup. Uh, it seems to work really good for our operation, running running over 100 colonies. I can I can feed every colony I have pretty quick in an afternoon um, or after dark, which is typically when it is. And it's one of the reasons I put the reel on here. I want to make life easier when I couldn't see the kink in the hose because I took it off that rack. But anyway, it's a fantastic little setup that we, we think is a fantastic little setup on a little trailer here. Um, Hey, I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions about the setup, I'll be happy to try to answer those for you, and, you know, copy, uh, send, me a, send me a picture of your setup. Maybe I can make some improvements. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.